In this video, we're going to look at the insulation resistance test feature of the SMFT-1000. This device is a little unique compared to other insulation resistance testers in that it's designed to be used specifically with solar modules and strings of solar modules. The default insulation resistance test is this insulation resistance test 2. And what the device is going to do in this test is it's going to short circuit the positive and negative of the PV module or string together. And then it's going to test the resistance of that short circuited string to ground. Really unique feature with the SMFT-1000 that you won't see in other standard insulation resistance testers. Insulation resistance test one is more of a standard insulation resistance test. And what it's going to do is it's going to measure from positive to ground and then negative to ground, and it's going to pick the highest value and give you the results for that. We also have a continuous insulation resistance test. This is a point-to-point -point insulation resistance test like you would see with any standard insulation resistance tester. That's going to allow us to measure things like our PV output circuits from our combiner box to our inverter when they're disconnected from PV modules. We also have the wet insulation resistance test. This is actually test two, where it short circuits the positive and the negative together and then tests to ground. What we're doing here is indicating that this test was done under wet conditions. That could be uh, in the morning when there's moisture on the array. It could be on a rainy day, or we could have used a hose or other device to wet the array down. When we have wet array, we're going to have less resistance to ground, a good way to find intermittent ground faults. Also in this screen, I'm going to go back to the standard test. I can use the down arrow to set the voltage. I have a couple different voltage levels I can do the insulation resistance test at. This is set to 1,000 volts, which is the highest voltage. I can also do 500, 250. 150 that's the lowest lowest setting so usually if we're doing normal pv arrays we're doing a thousand volt test the other thing we can do is set the limit that was actually back in that screen um, the limit changes depending on which test you're conducting and that's based on the iec 62446-1 standard. So as I change the voltage, the minimum resistance is going to change as well. So this is a great way to test our modules, test either individual modules, strings of modules. We can do point-to-point -point resistance testing. The SMFT-1000 comes with a probe tip that has a test button right on it. So you don't even need to hit this test button. You can use the one, the probe tip. It's a great way to conduct that test. So thanks for joining me and have a good day.